January 22nd, 2014, episode 1.4 of the Elaboration series, which had started off with Hoima's copywriting uh, Elaboration lecture series, and now we're going on into the present subject, which is human, us, okay, so we just finished talking about uh, some questions, like is monogamy a system to govern sensuality, it's like, well, why would you want to govern sensuality, well, the other point is, liberation means to understand the nature of yourself, so You know, maybe it's something about being actually liberated as human beings functioning naturally and with nature. Right? And uh, so we're going to go right into the next subject, which is a very important subject for me, for, for everybody, for everything. It's understanding the self and understanding how there's patterns made out of relationships, seeing that the source creator creates everything in its image, generally speaking, pretty much 100% speaking. So in that, you get this pattern of polarity where there's always two halves that are a whole, seeing just as the source creator is a whole, but it's the source and it's the creator. It is love that goes out times infinity. It is infinite. It's hard to explain, but it's what we're in. It's what we're made of. It's what's generating existence. So we have the half that we're going to get into right away is the goddess. And what the goddess is to me is she is the standard half where in more being more of the in the liking of the source creator or of the creator she's the holder of the information seen and then her better her 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 other half so to speak <laughs> it, he exhales as a function as a part of her he takes action scene so <clears throat> What the goddess is, is she's definitely holy, but I feel that the goddess is more the one source creator, more image of love. So I would refer to all women as love. I call my daughter love. I call my grandma love. I call a stranger. Thank you very much, love. You know, sometimes people aren't into it. Some women don't get it. So they prefer me not to call them that. <laughs> But the goddess, for example, I like using nature as a reference to understanding what's going on. So we're going to continue a little bit more on the goddess on the next episode. But what nature showed me is, is most life in general is female and gender because you got to produce eggs and just cells like life in general goes to show that XX chromosome is a standard. So it shows you that's the standard. It's like that's more likely Eve that would have an extra rib to spare. Catch on the next episode.